Welcome to Vakala Beach in Kerala on the Arabian Sea. We arrived here last night and it's just been amazing so far. There are so many restaurants, there's a whole lot of good little shops. We're definitely going to eat well. Had the best night's sleep ever last night and woke up to have the most amazing breakfast with this view. You've got a big smile on your face? Well I have, that's because the sun's shining, we are surrounded by the most amazing restaurants and life is pretty good. And down on the beach? Down on the beach, we've got a lot of happy people swimming, so I think we'd better head down there. Yep. How old were you when you started to sell? Yeah, like seven years. Seven years old? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Just started with small things. Yes. Like some jewelries. Yes. And graduated to clothing for, yeah, mi for middle-aged Westerners. <laughs> oh, then you're in trouble now. Yeah? <laughs> oh, that easily fits. Can I help you? Okay, colours look good on me? Colours look very nice on you. It's really good. Oh, it's really pretty. Yeah, I'm taking yeah, this. It's just like <laughs> you got to hold that for a bit longer, oh. and then get your wallet out. Oh. I blame this dangerous oh. young lady. <laughs> no, she's a very good salesperson. <laughs> Anything else? I think. So. <laughs> Now we've just had a stroll down the beach, what have you learned so far? Well, a lot of Indian tourists here, which is good to see, but there are also a lot of Europeans. The water's really warm um, and I'm pretty sure we'll be in it soon, but don't worry because we won't be videoing that. And what can I see up there behind you? The town itself is up on the cliff tops and behind us are all the restaurants, shops, cafes, those kinds of things and our accommodation is just behind those restaurants here. And how does the day start here in Va Vakala? Well, the day starts with an early morning swim. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the, weather, the water is always really, really warm. So we have our swim and then we go off for breakfast. So 
It's another beautiful morning here in Bakala. We've been for our early morning swim and now we're heading off to breakfast. And one of the things we really like about this place is that there's a huge variety of restaurants on the clifftop. Um, and not only is there a huge variety, but the standard is extremely good. It's fair to say we've tested out quite a few since we've been here, so we thought it's probably about time that we shared some of our best ones with you. That looks pretty yummy. What's going on? Well, we keep seeing a dessert on the menu called Hello to the Queen, so we thought we would order it just to see what it is. And it appears to be biscuits, chocolate sauce, banana, ice cream, and I don't know what else, but it looks pretty good. I'm gonna have a go. Definitely a lot of biscuit in it. Mm. Mm. Chocolatey. Something jammy tasting in there as well. And ice cream. And it's nice and cold. accommodation here at the Kaitu Kuzi guest house. Um, big, big bed actually, really comfortable. We've got a mosquito net which we haven't ended up using because <laughs> the mosquitoes you don't really notice here plus the nets always block out the fan and we definitely need the fan here because it is quite warm. Um, so plenty of room for all our stuff. Bathroom once again, standard sort of Indian um, wet room style more than adequate and it actually has been super clean because the lady who runs the guest house gave it a thorough scrub yesterday but i think the best bit out here is probably for neil is we get a hammock so here he is working hard having a nice wee snooze yeah. it's you. <laughs> what are you doing videoing you oh, welcome to my office Hard, hard life, isn't it? Mm. Next time you hang up your togs, could you bring them out a bit more, please? Oh yeah, we've also got all our washing strung up here, which we don't feel bad about because everybody else has as well. And the location here is really good. We are about a minute, not even that, less than a minute's walk to the cliff top, and we've got this really nice little shady area. And it's perfectly safe because our guest house and the three next door are all owned by the same people, and they are all gated in at night, so it's really, really safe. And this is what our guest house looks like in the evening so every night we walk back to this lovely display of lights. <laughs> 